amazing. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Isn't it?
the feeling that you were worthy. You were worthy of that support. I don't think I grew up with that feeling. I think I grew up with the feeling that um, as long as I didn't bother them, I was okay. As long as I didn't, um, as long as I wasn't too um, noisy or too busy around them or something, that, that, that was okay. And so what, what, what I grew up, what I grew up to be, what you grew up to be, are almost like two separate generations. And I think that um, if I can talk myself, if I can approach myself now with that lie of having to be perfect, people wanting me to be perfect, and what that entails, I think I can kick the habit of wanting
morsels of memory. These dreams she'd send through the air. Moving beyond thought to word on a dare. She looked forward to the day she'd have no thoughts and wouldn't have to worry about there being no words.
the one hand was the only grounding she had. Her daytime viewing kept her wanting, kept her alive. On the brink of despair, she simply changed the channel, chose a new view.
How did you meet David Peel? Uh, Howard Smith was showing me and Yoko around the village, although Yoko didn't need any showing, but he was an old friend of Yoko's and I got to know him. And he took us down to Washington Square, of course, and there he was, you know, shouting about, why do you have to pay to see stars and all that? And I'm sitting standing at the back of the crowd here and all embarrassed. He must be talking about me, he must know I'm here. But he didn't, have it. And then we walked off. And then uh, another time we were going around the village with Jay and Abby, wasn't it?